Hello and welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, Paint with Gloria. Now let's get started. And we're going to add a window. We're going to add another window. And we might add a balcony. This is all part of the roof. And that's your little house on stilts. So I think I'm going to whiten this one just a little bit. Okay. And then, of course, you won't see this once we define it, but it has more than just the stilts in the front. This has tilts all over. Okay, that's your house. What I decided to do is, while we're still playing with this, is I'm going to be adding... Mm-hmm. What if I add a tree from behind? This is going to be a tree that we're going to add color to it later. I'm just going to sketch it in because I don't want to forget that one. I, that I want to put a tree here somewhere. Okay, here you go. That's going to be a tree that I'm going to add there. I um, also want to add Hmm, it's your painting. You can add whatever you like. Let's add, what about a palm tree? Where do you want to add a palm tree? Um, why don't we add a palm tree coming out of here? Okay, I like that. This is going to be a palm tree. Uh, the reason I'm sketching it now is because I don't want to forget. That's going to be a palm tree. Okay, it's flipping more this way, which is totally okay. Okay, there you go. That's my palm tree. Let's see what else. We might add some little flowers here or later so that it can balance with this. Um, yeah, one more. Going that way. All right. Later we'll play with that. I'll show you how to do that with a fan brush. But for now, let's work on the shadow underneath the house. Since I have my black with me, might as well put it to use. Okay, there you go. kind of wiggling my brush. That's all I'm doing. Wiggling, wiggling. I'm going to pick up some more of that gray mixture and I'm going to put it here. You know why? Because I don't want to forget that I have some steps here. That way I remember the steps. And uh, it might look like it's floating right now, but we'll play with this later. Right now we're going to stay focused on this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the darkness here because this is where we're going to add some flowers. Bushes of flowers. They're going into the road. They have grown wild. Okay. And that's going to be a bush of flowers. Let's see. Uh, flowers here. 
tree here, the palm there. Mm. Okay, we don't want to overdo it. So for now, this is good. La casita en las montañas de Puerto Rico. The little house in the mountains of Puerto Rico. In case you didn't understand what I just said. Okay, my friends. In case we don't come back to this, we'll come back to it another day, which will be part two. I'll see you on our next adventure. God bless. Adios, amigos. You guys stay safe. Adios, mi gente. Okay, this is part two of part one. Continuation. And that's only if you want to finish the house and the row, the hill. If you decide you just want to leave the mountains when we first started on part one and the sky, that's fine with me because they are beautiful mountains and leave everything else the way it is. Don't add these. Just keep the sky and the mountains that came all the way down here. That makes for a beautiful painting by itself. At a later time, you can come back and add the house and the road. So let's continue. Now, as I was waiting to do part two, I decided I'm going to delete the palm. I just don't care for it right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to white it out. And I'm going to start it with this because it's going to take maybe uh, two to three coats to make the palm disappear because it's in, sketched in black with the pen. So we're going to do this for now and then come back and put it in another color. Actually, we're going to put the white again give it a few layers until it disappears don't worry you're not gonna ruin your sky we'll work with that when the time comes so again I set up my palette fresh paints these are burnt amber burnt sienna and raw sienna green, yellow, two different types of lighter, green, red, and black. So we'll take it from here. Let's do the house. And we're going to make the house a grayish house. Because it's going to be like an old wooden home. So we're going to mix some colors in here so I'm going to start by doing this and I'm using my flat brush like maybe a quarter inch cover that doesn't have to be perfect just make sure it's covered okay let's see we're gonna do this room over here okay uh, actually, I'm going to go sideways and the same for here. And the wall here. Good gray. Here. A little darker gray here. Okay, 
Okay, that's going to be your wooden home. And we're going to take the liner. We're going to dip it into that same color. Except that I'm making this gray a little darker. And I'm just going to start here. I'm just going to do lines across. They don't have to be straight. Remember, it's supposed to look like old wood. And just go across. And we're going to do the same thing for the front. And we're going to start here. A little darker. Pick up some more. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add the door using the same brush. This is small anyway, and I'm going to do a window going across. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's an old one home. I'm going to put a window here, just a window. The same for here on the side. One window, two windows, two windows right there. Uh, I'm going to line this up a little bit. Lighten up those steps a little bit. A little more square. Even. Just so that you can see it. No. Might be too bright. I'm going to take uh, just a little bit of brown, mix it in there using the same brush. And all I want to do is just going to put it here, going across the wooden floor will be here. Clean the brush. I'm going to take white and we're going to put them across the windows very lightly. Don't press too hard because you know what's going to happen if you press too hard. Let's see. It's already dry so that means we can go in there and put more white. There you go. These are like Miami windows in Puerto Rico. I love those windows. Okay, I'm going to pick up a little bit more gray because I want to do the roof. And I'm using my half inch flat brush. Okay. This is like a tin roof. A sing. Beautiful music when it rains. I'm going to add a little 
tap in there of that uh, burnt sienna to make it look like a little rust has formed in this roof. I don't know if you can see that, but it's there. So I'm gonna go red. Here you go. Uh, bring it down. A little bit here, even so you don't see it much. Okay. Pick up my liner again. And I'm going to do like a little uh, balconcito, a little patio in the front of that house. Okay, so we're going to go here to watering. We're going to go here, here. Go down, 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 and we're going to do this. Doing the bottom piece of wood. Here we go. If it's too light, darken it a little again. it a little bit. It's all part of the thing. Okay. I'm going to put a little duck on the bottom. I didn't want it to be so wide. Mm -hmm. And the door, I'm just going to keep it like this. It it looks like it's open some. See that? Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more shadow underneath the house. My intentions were not to go into so much detail so you don't have to do what I'm doing you don't have to do the house if you don't like just keep it simple there you go it's up to you I'm just scrubbing kind of moving it around there you go I'm going to go ahead and pick up my half inch flat brush again, cleaning it and drying it so that I can go back and try to make this palm disappear. And again, that tells you that if you make a mistake or decide you want to remove something that you added on your painting, you can always white it out. And this is what we're doing. We can always cover uh, any boo-boos with a cloud or just white it out. See, I can still see it, so I might need one more coat. Okay, clean this brush out. I don't need this brush anymore. So I'm picking up my crazy brush because I want to put some color on that tree. So I'm going to pick up some green, some light green. I want it to be different from all the other greens that are there. Again, very lightly. Very lightly. So now I'm going to clean my brush. Get rid of that green that's on it. With the same brush, I'm going to pick up that red. And I'm going to put it on this tree. No details, again, this tree is pretty far. And you might guess what this tree might represent. 
okay and if you visited the island or have if you have visited the island or live in the island or lived in the island whatever the case may be you know that that might represent a flamboyant here since I have my red I'm gonna add it here okay there you go some flowers I'm gonna add a little bit more red to this tree it's fully bloomed and there you go fully bloom this some leaves have fallen, some of the flowers have fallen from the tree. And this one, since there's a bush, is going to come off to the road. I'm just going to add a little bit of white in between. Tapping very lightly. Very lightly. That's how you do that. Okay, let me clean my brush. I want to add a little more darkness in between these mountains. See, so I can kind of separate them. See here? There you go. So I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is um, take my brush and just put maybe anywhere between two or three drops of water and then I'm gonna dilute it you see what I, you see how runny that is look how runny that is watercolor see that and the reason I do that is because I want to put some darks in here but not too many dark that's why I dilute it so much and just wiggle your brush Get it in there. Get it in there. Same thing here. There you go. Some more. And the reason I'm doing this is to separate the mountains. A little bit more here. It's so watercolor that you still see, it's almost transparent. You could see the mountain. It didn't cover the mountain. I'm going to do this here. Okay. And I'm going to move that up. Move it up into the mountain. Same thing here. There you go. Okay. And then I might just want to lighten this one a little bit. Very light on the brush, very little paint. Very little. Uh, different green let's see put some here in this mountain scrubbing scrubbing flip it 
scrub. Just kind of give it different colors, different effects. And don't be afraid to experiment. That's what painting is all about. Know and learn what works for you. Okay, just uh, not much here. Okay. Now that this is completely dry, we're going to go over that as well. See this? Let's put in more white. And I think one more and that will be it. See? Here you're learning not just to paint but how to white things that you might not like or things that you might have to change your mind. Okay? There you go. Nothing is painted or graved in stone, which means you can change it. Okay, let's see if we can move along so that we don't stay too long on this. I'm going to add this color to it. Yeah. And this is burnt sienna, what I'm using here. So I'm just going to Scrub it in there. Let's scrub it in there. Same brush. I'm going to make this a little darker. And create that wall. Scrub, scrub, scrub. brown which is totally okay 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 let's work here and then we go back to the sky. Let me see what kind of brush would I like to use. Let's use this one. Now I'm going to start with some black mixed in with some brown here. And take it from there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're pretending this is a hill. Okay. Pick up some more brown. Mix them with that black. This.
Now let's put a little more black here because I don't want you to think that the house is falling off the hill. So let's put in some other black in. Believe me, there's a lot of homes on the hills in Puerto Rico, but they ain't coming down. Might look that way, but they're not coming down. They're well built. Very well built. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Clean my brush. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now that we've done this, we'll be back here, but let's go ahead and finish the sky. Okay. Um, let me get some blue. Yeah, pretty blue. I'm going to get that pretty blue. And mix it with some white to lighten it up. Make sure it doesn't get mixed in with my other colors because I don't want a rainbow. Just kind of blend it in all together. And soon, you won't even know there was a palm there. Okay, very lightly go across. Now we're going to add a cloud, making sure that we are making that palm disappear. I'm pushing up. And if you are thinking, oh man, I wish you would have left that palm. I would have liked to paint the palm. Let me give you some good news. I have videos here on YouTube in my channel that will show you how to do a palm tree. Very simple way to paint. There you go. How's that? See? It's gone forever. If you want to put it back in, look at my video on how to paint palms. And you can put one in there using a very small uh, fan brush. Don't go on using something this huge for a small painting like this one. This is a 9x12. Um, let's see. See here the difference? I will use something small like this. This is a number 2 fan. And this is number six. So make sure you use a small one, not a large one. Leave the large one for large paintings. Okay, let's see. Yeah, even this one is too big. Okay, let's stay focused. Okay. What I want to do here, I, I don't like this here. So I'm going to change this. Let me clean my brush. And this is going to send everything back. So 
So I'm going to, let's see, let me get some more black. I don't have enough on my palette. There you go. I should do it. Taking my one and a half inch brush. And I know, I know. Lightly on the edges, very lightly on the edges. The same brush once you clean it and not only clean it with the water but make sure you dry it with uh, some kind of cloth a rag paper towels it's up to you okay I'm going to put some green in there using the same brush that I just cleaned okay Twist and turn your brush. Twist and turn your brush. Twist and turn. So you can get different effects. Twist and turn. Twist and turn. And I'm tapping. And you're thinking, what is this crazy woman doing? Well, you'll see. Nothing crazy about this. It's just happens things like this happens okay let's see here we go see that beautiful effects now I'm going to grab a different green here okay So what this tells you is, if you're looking at this painting, what this tells you is that I'm looking from this side of the hill and all these bushes are right in front of me and they're being caught in the photo. Okay, how's that? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit more yellow just to kind of give it some highlights. So, let me just grab a little bit of yellow. Okay, using the same brush, I'm not even not going to wash it. I'm just going to pick up some yellow with the same brush. And hope for the best. Here we go. some here maybe a little bit here some here here that means the sun is hitting certain areas of this bush not all of it but certain spots are glittering well what do you say guys la casita en las montañas little house in the mountains of Puerto Rico. I hope you do try the little wooden home 
and share your photos with me any comments please leave them below if there's certain things you want me to paint that you want to follow along um, if you want later on you can add little birdies flying those are so easy so simple um, but again we'll leave that for another day don't forget to sign and date your painting you can either do it I like to do it on the right hand corner on the bottom not too close to the edge because if you frame it you might close you might block or cover your signature so stay like a half an inch or two inches or from the edges or you can just sign the back these are wonderful these are wonderful uh canvas panels oh guys i really hope you enjoy this remember this is part two of part one watch part one through and then decide if you like to paint it or not and if you do um gather all your supplies before you get started um thank you again i have fun with this one see you on our next adventure god bless stay safe Adiós amigos.